spend our time, and I would like to congratulate all of you for choosing to spend your time today here, absorbed in the holy name, uh, on this auspicious occasion of the welcoming of Sri Sri Gorani Thai uh, to this wonderful household. I would like to thank uh, Sahil Prabhu for his great enthusiasm to welcome their lordships, and he is the Yajman today. He's the person in control. He's the he's the head of everything today. I'm, my name is Jaini Taidas. I'm simply his servant today and every day for that matter. So uh, and uh, we're going to be conducting a an Abhi Sheikh or a little bit of a, a welcoming uh, their first first worship here in this homestead. So before we begin, I'd like to explain a little bit about Sushi Borni Thai and give us a little meditation. Probably many of you, uh, who here is not really so familiar when I say Goran Thai, you're kind of like, go to what? <laughs> Anyone's kind of like that? Okay, very good, perfect. Okay, so um, most of you are familiar with Krishna. Anyone who's not familiar with Krishna? Of course, everyone knows Krishna. Anyone knows who Balaram is? Yes? Okay, so Balaram and Krishna, they're brothers, right? And of course we know they get up to all sorts of mischief and their favorite pastime or activity or one of them is herding the cows in Vrindavan. So we can, we can remember Krishna and Balaram and their youth and the activities that they, they perform. So they come in Dwarpa Yuga. And they are the Yuga avatar. Krishna is the Yuga avatar for Dwarpa Yuga. He comes specifically to speak the instructions of the Bhagavad Gita, right? And I'm sure everyone is familiar with the Bhagavad Gita. So Krishna speaks these instructions of Bhagavad Gita to his dear friend Arjuna on the battlefield. And these instructions have now been passed down over another generation. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains that he comes again and again in each age. Yuge, Yuge. So in each Yuga, Krishna comes as a different incarnation. Everyone's also probably aware of that. There have been so many incarnations. Vamana Dev, the dwarf, uh, Varaha Dev, the boar incarnation, Matsya the fish, Korma the tortoise, Parashuram, Lord Ram. We know all of these different incarnations have come. So in the age that we're living in now, which is the age of Kali, it's Kali Yuga, the fourth of the four ages. We have Satya, Treta, Dwarpa, and Kali. And in this age of Kali, we're simultaneously blessed and also cursed, because this is one of the worst ages to be around in. But because of the appearance of the Yuga avatar, and we're talking about Avatar of Krishna, not the new Avatar film that I've just seen. Or the movie coming out, so hopefully you all haven't, or you booked your ticket. <laughs> but the Yuga Avatar for this age is Lord Chaitanya, and also known as Goranga. And I'll explain a little bit about that name in a moment. So Krishna comes in Kali Yuga in the most fallen age as Lord Chaitanya. 16 items, we're going to do that manasa in the mind when the deities come out. We'll touch them also with kusha grass. So kusha grass actually in the Pran Pratishta, when you welcome the deity, you touch each limb of the body with a mantra and that invokes the senses into the deity. Kusha grass, in case you didn't know, is very sacred and holy. In India, it grows like a weed anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> Kusha grass is holy and sacred. Why? Because it's actually the hair of Lord Varaha Dev. So after Lord Varaha Dev lifted the earth on his tusk and he came out of the water, out of the Garbadak Ocean, he shook like he would. And when he shook, wherever that, that water landed, then it became Kusha. So this is the hair of Lord Varaha Dev. We'll be using conch shells. To bathe the deities, they're also considered auspicious Vedically. And we'll first put some sandalwood or chandan on the deities, just a little bit. Then we have some ghee and a little bit of scented oil. So there are five items that in general are always worshipped to the deity. And when you deal with Krishna, Krishna is a cowherd boy. So anything coming from the cow is auspicious. So we'll use a little ghee. And uh, then we have items. We have milk. 
coming from the cow. We have yogurt coming from the cow. Then we have honey. We also have this, a big pot full of cow dung. <laughs> it's not really. It's just a little tiny bit and a little tiny one drop of cow. Go mutra, cow urine, right? Now the older ladies, they're like, yeah, this is normal, right? But for young people, they're like, ah. but just a little bit because every aspect of the cow is 100% antiseptic. It's completely clean and pure. So then we have, which juice is this? Pineapple? Apple juice, mango juice. Don't start to meditate too much on these items. Uh, then we have some nice coconut water, which Sahil's father, he has a big coconut tree in the backyard. He climbed up today. He pulled the coconut off, cracked it open with his bare hand, and he has put that coconut water in here. Uh, then we have, uh, yeah, we'll also offer ghee wick and incense at the beginning. Um, then we have flower petals to shower the deities at the end. And we have this nice tray where we'll give them a little shower after we uh, coat them with some rice flour and give them a little cleaning. And uh, honey is also here. I think that's everything. Is that all the items? Yeah, so like that. Okay, any other questions? Anything else? Anyone? <laughs>
Krishna, everyone. Hey. How's everyone feeling? Good. So nice, huh? So beautiful. So uh, our our event organizer said 1:45. We're four minutes late. <laughs> so um. Prabhuji asked me to name the deities. It's quite traditional to give the deities a name. Of course, they're Shishigori Tai. And I was thinking, oh, what name? Because you know, it's like a big thing to ask someone to give them. And I said, you should name them. He said, no, no, Prabhuji. I think his exact words were, it's above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> so then he dumped it on my pay grade. <laughs> so, uh, so I was thinking, but the only name that kept coming to me was Nitai Sachi Sutta. Sutta. So, because I see Sahil is just, he's such a young, young man. Even though he's like in his 20s. Can you believe it? He's like a 12 year old. <laughs> so, Sachi Sutta, Nitai, is short for Nich Nichananda, is abbreviated to Nitai. And Sachi is the mother of Lord Chaitanya. So also the mother is involved here. Mother is so sweet, we can see. <laughs> so Sachi Devi is the mother of Lord Chaitanya. And Sutta means? Son. Son. That's right, Sutta. So this is Nitai Sachi Sutta. Haribo! <laughs> so this formally and officially concludes the welcoming ceremony. So now which traditional is one year from now we have to have a birthday party. <laughs> so we all have to come back again. Mom, Dad, who's ready to go? Yes. Yes. So uh, thank you all again very much for coming. Thank you for leading nice kirtan. Thank you to our kirtaneers and all those who joined in. Really wonderful occasion, and thank you very much for allowing me to be part of this wonderful and auspicious occasion of welcoming. Shishi Nittai Sachi Sutta to your wonderful Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. And thank you everyone else for being here, for coming and uh, being part of this special day. We've been anticipating this for a very long time. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so thank you for being part of it and enjoy the prasadam. Hare Krishna!